What's up everyone, Zach Slife here. Today we're gonna check out this little package that my friends at Neutrik USA sent me. So earlier last year, I released a video about the silent cable that I picked up from PRS that features this cool Neutrik silent end, which is essentially a cable end that shorts or cuts the signal when you go to unplug your guitar so you don't get those ridiculous pops, cracks, and annoying hisses that you usually get when you unplug a guitar without muting your signal. And that video sparked quite a bit of controversy. People were like, well, you spent $100 on a cable, bro. And to that I say, I mean, I've been enjoying it. It's given me no issues so far, and it's been pretty cool. Neutrik saw that video, and they reached out to me personally to see if I would be interested in testing out the new version of their silent and the team reached out to me via Instagram and we started talking about how they enjoyed my video, they liked what I was doing, and they asked if they could send me an early Christmas present to which I happily said yes and I was looking forward to seeing what the new and improved cable system would be like. Just a quick heads up everyone before we go any further, this video is not being sponsored by Proco, Own nor Trick in any way, shape, or form. They just sent me this cable with no strings attached. They did not ask for this video. They are not looking at this video. They're not paying me to make this video. These are my thoughts and opinions. I just wanted to give back to them because they were generous enough to give me a pretty expensive cable for free. So with that out of the way, let's continue on to the demo. So at first glance, obviously these cables are made for two different companies by two different companies. This PRS one is a pretty thin cable size and it's overall maybe not the cleanest design, but the Neutrik end itself is fantastic and it does the job. Proco cable, on the other hand, this is some heavy duty shit. As I mentioned earlier, this is a much thicker gauge of cable, so that means it's gonna be a little bit stronger and a bit more resilient, especially on the road. And the new ending is a black color instead of a red color, so it blends in with the stage better and looks more like a traditional guitar cable. And the ending itself is much more robust and thicker, which ultimately means it's gonna lead to longevity, it's going to handle abuse and wear and tear on the road that much better. The other end of the cable is a traditional Neutrik gold-plated connector that you see on high-end cables such as Mogami, and it's cool to see that they kept this as well in this new cable that they sent me. So we're going to test this out and see exactly what I mean by silent cable. All right, so this is going to be a relatively quick demo. Basically, we're going to test the difference between using a regular Mogami cable and the Proco cable that I have with the new silent end. So you know how it is, you plug in your guitar and you get this little sound. Right, whatever. Play a little bit. Then you go to unplug. You get that pop sound. Right when you go to plug it in and unplug it, as you can see on the screen. So I'm gonna take a second, swap cables, and we'll see if there's a difference with the silent cable. So I just plugged in the silent cable, and if I touch the end, there's no sound as you can see on the screen. This is cool. And again, what triggers that is this little sleeve. When I press that down, now signal is passing. Get my guitar back out. Lovely Ernie Ball Music May Majesty Artisan. And let's plug in the cable. Ready, set. Dead quiet. That pop is the active preamp from the guitar. Let's do a sound demo. Plug. Nothing. Go to touch the cable. Absolutely nothing. We'll plug it back in. Preamp kicks in. Quiet. 
quiet as day. So just to test it again without an active preamp guitar, I'll grab my LSL T-Bone Tele style guitar and we'll do the test again. Here's the guitar, plug it in. So if you accidentally trip over your cable, you're not going to get that annoying sound. And when you go to, you know, scavenge around and try to quick, you know, put, put, put the cable back in, uh, it's not going to make that annoying sound. But instead you can plug in and get right back to making music. That just about wraps up today's video, everyone. Go check out Neutrik's new silent plug. I think this will be a cool addition to your arsenal. You can simply solder this end to the end of an existing cable, or you can buy a pre-made cable with different thickness gauges from different partner companies that they work with. They just sent me this Proco cable, and I'm gonna be taking this out on the road with the Ever After Band to do one of the 40 to 50 weddings that we have planned for 2024 and we'll see how it holds up. If you guys want more content on the regular, again, you can follow me on social media. Those links are in the description below. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this new silent plug and the cable itself underneath. You guys have been wonderful. Until next time, keep on following your dreams.